let's start going. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's COVID-19. And welcome to the Neo Renaissance, folks. If you haven't been to smashamash.org, you can get to the forum right here. Just click on this blue link down here toward the bottom of the page. We've updated it once again as we have an extensive 14 page plus long section about coronavirus, COVID 19, whatever you want to call it, global pandemic. So, yesterday's article that we posted was about herd immunity which refers to a situation where enough people in a population have immunity to an infection to be able to effectively stop the disease from spreading. It doesn't matter where it comes from. It doesn't matter if it comes from vaccination or from natural immunity from people who had the disease. The crucial thing is that you're immune. With the new coronavirus infection called COVID-19, the more as more and more people become infected, there will be more and more people who recover and more who are immune. So when about 70% of the population has been infected and recovered, the chances of outbreaks become much less because most people are resistant. So if you want to read about that, feel free. It's smashamash.com slash forum in the free-for-all forum. So we got a letter from Pat Brown today that we put in there that showed up uh, as an email. So if you want to read about what's going on in Pennsylvania, and we've got lots of updates about other places too. An IBM super, as we talked about, the cure to coronavirus, which is two widely available drugs studied in France and showed a 100% efficacy rate after a treatment of only six days. IBM supercomputer identifies 77 compounds that could fight coronavirus. So if you want to read about that, as I forecasted this too, as I said, drugs like Cefzol, which is a second generation cephalosporin antibiotic, are likely to be effective against COVID-19 as it's just a virus, folks. It's just a virus. It's not all that scary. We've also put up some simple tips to help you avoid fake coronavirus news as people have been accusing me of spreading lies on the internet and gaslighting me for things that are utterly untrue. Children are vital to stopping the, uh, slowing the pandemic, and it's because kids are affected completely differently in terms of their immune system, plus kids are worse at doing things like hygiene than adults are, and they're worse at following any of the rules. So this is this is why the, one of the most important things to do is to close schools. However, the rest of reality isn't necessarily that bad. And uh, I mean, don't go out and get coughed on, folks, just because there appear to be various cures emerging for COVID-19. And let's talk about America's shopping list. We've actually put up an NPR article, believe it or not. Believe it or not, Smash is in the bunker. I never thought I had so much TP. Flying off shelves are mainly these things. Aerosol disinfectants, thermometers, rubbing alcohol, and multi-purpose cleaners. Anyway, there's the data on that. The top three dried foods are dried beans, rice, and black beans. The top three food meat alternates are canned meat, fresh chicken, and cooked chicken. The top three snacks are popcorn, pretzels, and potato chips. The top top three fruits and vegetables are apples, bananas, and papayas. The top three vegetables are oat milk, powdered milk, products, and water. And the declining categories are perfume, sunscreen, and vegetable party platters. Lastly, we put up one more thing about the unparalleled challenge. Check it out. Cities across the country are locked down and looking like ghost towns, whether it's San Francisco or New York. Check it out. Here is, there's San Francisco. Practically nobody out there. Here's San Francisco Airport. There's more San Francisco. York also on lockdown. I don't know if we only have photos of the Bay Area here. Anyway, check it out. Smashamash.com slash forum. We're updating it on the daily. I 
apparently folks are flying in Chicago. There's some, some more empty airports. More images of San Francisco. Looking like straight ghost towns, folks. Look for images like this from New York coming out today also. It's all available in one thread. And by the way, it's smashamash.com slash forum slash forum slash topic slash coronavirus. Share that link with your friends, your foes, your noobs, and your pros. Now, there's going to be a lot of winners coming out of the stock market as a result of this crash. And one of the biggest losers currently on the big board is FLIR Systems. Now, FLIR Systems is an important emerging forward-looking infrared radar company that's going to be relevant in the future. And the reason that they're crashing is undoubtedly because they can't get parts from China right now as there's kind of a global shipping shutdown in various sectors. So perhaps this could be a winner. And this is going to be something that folks are going to make a lot of money on because the stock market's going to recover, folks. So FLIR Systems, I mean... Look, one of the ways that people make a lot of money is what's called dead cat trading. I used to do a little bit of it, as there are many millionaires and billionaires all around the world who survive on dead cat trading. And what that means is when a stock crashes, even if it's going to completely die and go down to zero, there is still typically a bounce after a large decline. And what that means is, well, when you throw a cat off of a tall building, even though it's going to die when it hits the ground, it will bounce. And stocks typically do the same. So day traders and swing traders are all too aware of this. And so that's another word of wisdom today from <laughs> during the space weather news. As, hey, keep in mind, folks, the sun is largely in control of the economy. So while money tries to hide in various places, it looks like there was a, some more bond purchasing the dollar looks strong as everybody tries to hide in dollars. And uh, while central banks around the world are inflating their money supply, the dollar still looks better because it is used in so many transactions around the world. And it's very trusted as the U.S. is the U.S. Enough 